everyone welcome back and maybe I'll be using this as like my intro space who knows I am just finding my feet in the house and carrying on with these moving vlogs what are you doing so this is moving vlog number three and I thought I would actually start the intro now even though it's not actually the start of the video as you saw we had a lovely little cozy weekend and I'm going to continue into that but I thought I'd actually do a bit of an intro into what this vlog is going to be as you guys may have seen if you've been catching up with the moving vlogs I obviously moved house I'm in the new home and at the last vlog I was showing you guys around sneak peeks of the rooms so hopefully you all caught up on that I'll leave them linked both down below if you haven't caught up on them and if you are new here then hi my name is Chloe and welcome to the channel this is like I said the move and vlog series so we had a cute cozy weekend and I'm going to clip into that and we actually found out loads of history about the house which is really interesting the previous owner left this massive like bible and it literally goes back to like 1975 showing pictures of the house all different information about the house she even left like these cute little notes like if you go into this cupboard there's like a little secret door so we were just finding loads of things this weekend exploring the house exploring the area we went on lovely walks even though this weather has been absolutely miserable i think we can all account for that here in the uk and i am ready for some winter sun so we are actually off to dubai next week so i've been trying to sort myself out for that again this is making me look very pale or maybe i just need to come to the fact that i'm looking a little bit pale at the minute and this is exactly why i need some winter sun so yeah i've just been again settling to the house finding my feet a bit more and we have wi-fi now guys finally i'm connected to the world and i can deliver these vlogs a lot more often so i'm obviously going to be showing you what i'm getting up to today because i'm going to finally tackle my wardrobes which I'm not going to lie it's probably the, my last task and one that i've been purposely leaving till last because the thought of it is just too overwhelming and my stuff at the minute is just everywhere and i'm just hating it really just living in the same sweatpants same hoodie workout wear and i need to get my wardrobe back out and get re-inspired by my wardrobe and obviously find all of my summer stuff as well to pack next week and we're also doing a stay later this week we're doing a nice little spa stay which would be nice but like i said this is going to be at the house unpacking we're going to organize the kitchen if you guys saw so in the last vlog i got loads of organizing bits for the kitchen which i'm very excited to do and i feel like it's going to be very satisfying so i will try and link everything down below because i know a few of you were asking questions on the previous vlog and also anything that you guys do see within the home do let me know in the comments and i will try and find a link for you guys but i also just wanted to say thank you for the response from the last video because it was so heartwarming and you guys have honestly been so sweet along this whole process and i just feel like you're like my best friends now taking you along with it i feel like you're here in the home and today you're just going to be helping me unpack and organize and obviously you get the satisfying part of it of the sped up videos and the before and after and i'm the one doing it but i just yeah wanted to say thank you for all your lovely comments they definitely haven't gone unmissed and i will be announcing at the giveaway winners at the end of the video and they will also be linked down in the description so you can find them then and i'll obviously be giving back to you three winners as just a massive thank you as well so let's get into this video because i've got a lot to do today but before we do that i'm going to clip into what we actually got up to over the weekend so you can catch up on all of that and then i will get back in real time so we've just been going through the book for the house and it shows all the history of the house and this is one of the old pictures from 1975 which i'll probably show you in a minute this things that it was like you can see how like even just the color of this of when they were selling the house previously it's over 300 years old and that's why we loved it because it still kept its character and in this folder the lady who previously lived here she's so cute she's put together such like an extensive it's like a house bible and there's little bits where it's like saying the secret compartments throughout the house so we're going to go have a little treasure find this afternoon and find them all because it's so exciting this alone just shows a picture of the house from 1975 it's just got so much history behind it which we love we've just found the original floor plans as well for the house Wait. no these aren't the original floor plans this is just when they did it up yeah, this is the when they renovated the back part, right? Yeah. So interesting because obviously we're going to be having to draw up all the plans for our renovations. But, yeah, but we'll be doing it on all types yeah. of software, not a <laughs> yeah. piece of paper. I love it. So outdated, but so wholesome. There's an attic. Oh my god, 
were just so annoying. So we were obviously looking at the papers and we discovered that we can get up into the attics. We didn't think we could. Go on, get in there. Are you gonna, yeah, you're gonna lock me in here. <laughs> oh, it's such a big size. Oh, I see what you mean about the in... <laughs> Stop it. I see what you mean about the installation. Go up one more and you'll see behind yourself. It's a bit scary, babe. Why? I don't know. Attics freak me out. Hey, it's going to be a boogie month to start there. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that side, but you can see up here, for perspective, how big this is for our storage. Because we didn't think we actually had it, which is really good. So we can put all of like our winter clothes up here, Christmas decks. So yeah, we've got nice storage. So we're going to make this into my walk-in closet, which will be a temporary thing for a few, maybe a year or so. Oh my god, what? Stop! I win a four. Please don't. What? <laughs> Put a finger up your butt. Don't touch my butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. It's there, babe. Yeah, that's what I was saying because you can see where the roof is. Anyway, let's get your ass down and go on a W. Please, Ples. I'm also very excited. The postman just came and delivered our wallpaper samples. I didn't actually choose this one. I think they must have put it in by accident. Um, but these are some of the samples that I've picked out from Lucy Annabelle. I think they're just really, really pretty designs. And this one is definitely the one I'm leaning towards for the guest bedroom that we're going to work on first. But this is the sketched meadow room. And obviously see how it looks throughout the day with the lights. Because it does recommend here to obviously, if I grab it, to leave them in the rooms obviously. So you can see them throughout the day, how they're going to look but I love this cream one for the bedroom. And it's even making me think, do we wallpaper? I don't know, I think I'm gonna panel the bed, our bedroom, the master bedroom, but I'm thinking, like I said, to do a bit of a green color, maybe in this downstairs toilet room, and then on at the back wall, bring it in with a bit of a wallpaper as well, just to give them a bit more character and feel into the rooms. Also differentiate them, and also just to show you what it's actually called. This is Countryside Trail Rustic Greens, which is exactly what I love. And obviously I do want to bring in the feel of where the house is, like borderline in the countryside. I'm going to try these in the room, see how they look throughout the day. I also really like this one. It's kind of giving me like Laura Ashley vibes. Um, and this one is Delicate Stems, I believe. Yes, Shades of Creams on Seafoam Green. But I think this one's a little bit more understated. And then I thought this one, but now it's come, it's too grey for me. So that one's a definite no. So I've also just had a H&M home delivery come which actually came super fast compared to usual. Obviously, the Christmas period is now over. So I'll show you what I've already unboxed. I got this large vase. This is kind of like a brown tinted glass, which I think will look nice in the dining room to style. And then all the little things that we didn't realize we needed, just like a soap dispenser, a matching one to go with it for like toothbrushes and stuff for the bathroom. I got this little jute, um, straw basket but I like this because it's more of like a boxy shape so again I'm going to put this I think in the bathroom just to store all of our like bath and body products Then I did order this mug which I believed was the same as mine because they bring them out all the time but this one is so much bigger I mean it did say large but I feel like this would be in a very extra large size cup of coffee just for reference if I put it like next to the large vase you can see how big it is so I feel like I don't know if I need this. Then I also got some towels. Again, just things that you need in a house. Obviously we've got a few bathrooms now. So I got this kind of like brown beigey color. Cause I normally always go white. So I want to mix it up. I've got some browns. I also got quite a large bath mat, which I'm thinking will go nicely against the bath, but it's looking quite long, but hopefully that should fit the space just for now. And then I also got a jute doormat, just to put obviously by the front door. We've also got a back door. And I think that was everything. Oh, I also got these PJs, which I think are so cute, this pink and white stripes. I'm really hoping they fit. I got a size small, so I'm going to put these on tonight after a bath and have a nice cosy night in. 
and I also got this laundry basket. I have had our laundry basket now from Zara for years and it's gone a little bit grubby so I liked this straw one with the straw lid and then it's just got the lining inside so I thought I can put this in our bedroom for all of our laundry. It's real time and I am so excited because our dining chairs just arrived. I actually got the email yesterday yesterday so i can't get my words out to say that it was going to be delivered in one to two days and i did quickly run into the city this morning and did my workout class and i just thought i'm gonna get back early just in case and i'm so glad i did because they have arrived and i'm so excited so i haven't unboxed them yet i'm gonna unbox them with you guys and we can see because if you saw the last vlog you will kind of remember me saying that, that i'm probably going to stain the table similar color to the chairs because they're a walnut mix of boucle and the table at the minute is just a little bit too light for me so i wanted to see how the chairs sit in the room we're also going to be painting and paneling the room this weekend just so i can get a bit more of a feel for it and then we can take the table from there so let's unbox these chairs i am far too excited a little bit different to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of a darker walnut colour on the picture but this is actually perfect because it pretty much matches the colour of our flooring. Oh my god I absolutely love it. I love the mix of the wood with the boucle. It gives a little bit of a modern finish to the room because everything else is going to be a bit more like mid-century vibes. I just think this is so beautiful and it actually fits under the table perfectly but you can see the mix of the woods now doesn't work so i'm definitely going to stain it this color and i think it will work a whole lot better and if i didn't actually say before these are from six the residents so i also have another chair from them i've only had the one for the past few years and i do get a lot of comments over on my home account about it and they just do some gorgeous pieces of furniture and i've been looking for dining chairs before i was to move for a while and these were just perfect. Voila, I've unpackaged them all. It took me a while. The boxes were huge and obviously a lot of recycling to do, but the chairs just look so beautiful in this room and they fit so perfectly under the table, which was what was one of my worries. Because if you can see, there's a little ledge here and I didn't want it to be like knocking on it and it actually just scoops under perfectly. It's just the colour of the wood that obviously looks a little bit off at the minute which we are obviously going to change this weekend we're going to go and get some wood stain and try and kind of match it up so it looks all cohesive in here but i just think they look brilliant and i was unsure if to get four or six and now i'm thinking maybe i should get two more one here and obviously one there i just think they look so beautiful the wood the finishes mixed with the boucle i just love mixing textures like this see this room has yet to be finished that's going to be going, that bar cart, it's just random at the minute. We're going to have the sideboard here, dress it all, we're going to paint it, panel it. So this room will slowly start to come together. So for lunch, I've just got leftover fajitas from last night. I've got that to warm up, I've got the wraps, and then I'm just going to make a little bit of guacamole on the side, some cheese, and that is me done for my lunch. Right, so now I've had my lunch, I'm going to start organizing the kitchen so i got these containers i got three big ones i think i've actually got another one actually no four big ones and then i've got three of these which i'm going to go grab along with a spice jar so i'm going to start putting the pasta in here rice flour got seeds and stuff and then obviously i'll have to go and get the rest of the bits when we do our bigger food shop
And then these are the spice jars, which I think I showed you guys in the last vlog that I got off Amazon. And then they also come with the little stickers on them, so you can put all your spices neatly in here. And obviously then it's a lot more sustainable. So already given me so much satisfaction seeing them all organized in these jars obviously I've got a lot more to get through I underestimated how long it takes me it does come with this little funnel but I found it easier just to kind of put them in the jars just the pasta in the jars I actually underestimated I need quite a few more because we've got all different types of pasta and then I have started to put these in little containers these are all kind of like oils vinegars cooking sauces so obviously this is where all the jars are going to go and look a lot neater so i'm going to continue with that and then my wardrobe so guess who's been procrastinating and it is now pitch black outside but hopefully we can get a little bit of light in here so if you can see behind the camera the absolute mess that has been in this room this is actually going to be the guest bedroom which i will be starting to decorate soon we do have some built-in wardrobes here as well as the bedroom the bedroom built-ins are going to be knocked through soon but for now i'm just going to store my clothes in there and in here before i get my built-in closet built so everything's just going to be a bit here there everywhere in a few different rooms but that's just the way life's going to be until my proper closet is built so i'm going to get all the stuff out of black bin liners there's already stuff in here which was pre hung so a little tip when you move them is put everything on hangers and then put black bin liners over them so you can literally just take the black bin liners off and then hang them all in like a clump if that makes sense and i just found that so much easier however i've got a lot of clothes i did get rid of a lot of clothes and i'm selling them on reliked I will link my relight down below. It's where I sell my clothes. Part of it goes to me, part of it goes to them, and part of the money also goes to charity, which is great. So, a lot of it's gone to there. I'm still going to sift through it, try and find my summer stuff for Dubai next week, and then, yeah, let's just tackle this. so far it's really not that groundbreaking because a lot of the stuff is still to be unpacked from the garage but in here i've put my blazers i've just got some of my thicker wool jackets and my aviator one this is to go in the other wardrobe with my jumpers and then the rest of my jackets will go here and then my long coats are in the other room just put a few of my bags up here obviously i do have my bag hooks which are from amazon which I will gather out of the boxes as well and soon put these up before obviously all of this is going to be going into a proper built-in closet where a lot of my bags will be on show and there'll be shelves and it'll be a lot more presentable but this is just for now and then I've got some shoes down here and then in this wardrobe is just some of like my dresses more of my evening dresses like my tailored ones a few of my wool ones and then again I've just put some of my heels down here then i've gone through and organized my drawers so i've got all my workwear organized this one probably not so much i need to tackle this, this is my pjs so it's a little bit messy but some sort of organization there and then i've somewhat organized this so i've got all my jumpers all of like my trousers leggings some of my jeans here and then i've just started to put some of my trainers up here again this is obviously not how it's going to be staying it's just very very temporary for like the next two or three weeks until everything's sorted and then I've just put some boots down here just so everything is neatly away and I can see where it is and then this closet is just my coats and up here is like my scarves and stuff in that bag and then I've just got my knee-high boots down here as well 
So I've just got a few more bits to unpack. I'm gonna get started on my toiletries and get my PJs, hair mask, and get comfy. Mm -hmm. 